Hey guys, if you're wondering why I'm on the floor right now, it's because I'm searching for something that I dropped. Something that is gold, so basically it's camouflaged on my brown floor, but also, let me get up. But also, something that is, uh, well, very, very small. In fact, it's tiny. Do you know that word, tiny? We have a lot of words in English that mean small and tiny is one of them. It means very, very small. All of the words that we use to mean small have very specific purposes. If you learn them, you'll be able to express yourself better. So how about, I keep on searching for this thing that I lost, which is actually my nose stud. <sighs> and you learn the words for small, and then at the end of the video, we'll meet back up. Sound good? All right, let's do that. What's that? Our first word is... Ah, no, it's not minute. This is a homophone and it's actually pronounced minute. Not newt, but newt, like there's a Y in there. And it basically just means very, very small. For example, a minute speck of dirt. Or our chances of winning the lottery are minute, yet we still play. Minuscule, minuscule, again, there's a kind of a Y sound, a Y sound in the end of that word. And again, it means extremely small, but sometimes it can mean so small that it's insignificant. So for example, I was working 50 hours a week for a minuscule salary. Or when I look up at the stars, I remember how I'm just a minuscule part of this universe. So I just turned on my TV and <laughs> I looked up and there's this minuscule little spider literally above my head. I'm going to try and zoom in so you can see him. Oh, but he's so small. My camera can't even focus on him. <laughs> but he's just there. He's like a baby. Tiny little spider. Hey. You can stay there. That's fine. You don't need to pay me anything to stay here. Tiny, tiny. Again, another way to say very, very, very small. You may see a tiny dog, or maybe you can only afford to rent a tiny room. Petite, petite. Petite means small, but in reference to the size of someone's body or their height, then we only use it for women. Petite also, it kind of means small in a very typically feminine and attractive way. For example, many people describe Kate Middleton as being petite, or you may see petite sizes in women's clothing stores. Miniature, miniature or mini. Now, these refer to something that is a smaller version of an already existing thing. You may even hear the phrase miniature version to describe this. Normal size onion, miniature onion. Normal size picture frame, miniature picture frame. For example, mini eggs, which are very small versions of Easter eggs, or a mini refrigerator where you can only fit a few things in there. Or even a mini, as in a car that was called mini because it's a small version of a car. Microscopic, microscopic. Now, if you're interested in science or if you study science, you probably already know this word, but let's take a look at it. So, a microscope is this thing. It's the thing that you use to see very, very small things that you can't see with your normal eye. So with this, we can understand that microscopic means very, very, very small to the point where you actually need something to see it. For example, a microscopic bug or a microscopic virus. Or if you're a fan of crime and investigation shows, a microscopic drop of blood at a murder scene. 
You may also see the short version of this word, micro, which we use as a prefix. Now number seven, eight, nine, and ten are all special words. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's going to sound like I'm trolling you, which I'm not. This is not a joke. These are real words. These four phrases or words are normally only used by children. However, they're kind of special and I'll explain why. Teeny tiny, teensy weensy, itsy bitsy, and inksy weensy. Honestly, they sound like tummy so they all mean the same thing. Very, very small. But what's useful to know about these words is you can actually take off that second word and the first word can be used on its own and it doesn't sound as childish or immature as previously. And usually it's pretty fine to use in your everyday life, perhaps not in formal contexts, but in informal everyday spoken English. For example, I have a piece of cake with just a teeny bit or the book looked interesting, but it's just a teensy bit boring. Or I'll have some wine, but just an itsy bit, I'm driving. And finally, it sounds like you're an itsy bit jealous. Okay, so I'm happy. I found my nose stud and <laughs> I also found an old ring that I thought I'd lost forever and half an old bone, which I found under my sofa. And uh, yeah, it's pretty gross. We're gonna blame Jack for that one. <laughs> he likes to hide them under there. He's a weirdo. All right, so that's it guys. I hope that you found this video. Oh, this bone is disgusting. <laughs> Wait one second. So I hope you found this one useful and I'll see you in the next video.